Since I started uploading videos over the past couple of years, people have been asking me, when did your beard grow? And I'm gonna let you into a little secret. Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how my beard went from this to this. So don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. I really appreciate the support, especially since I've just started the second channel. So what I'm gonna tell you is no top secret. It's not something I've invented, uh, but I've been asked a lot about it and how I went from growing no beard to growing a kind of beard. So I'm here to tell you that this technique, it works. If you've Googled how to grow a beard, you've probably come across the method of regain, Rogaine, or using minoxidil, the ingredient for beard growth. And I actually used it for a few weeks in uh, around 2016, and this is where I went wrong. It was the lack of consistency. So in a nutshell, uh, minoxidil works by helping the blood flow to the hair follicles and increasing follicular size and hair shaft diameter, stimulating and prolonging hair growth. And while it's not meant to be used on your face or approved to do so either, many people are now using it to help them if they are like me and don't have much of a beard. I jumped back on the method in around 2018 and I told myself that I'd use it for at least a year to see what happened and the results were pretty phenomenal. So if you are struggling to grow a beard as an adult or just have a patchy beard, I guarantee that if you use the follower methods, you'll see results as long as you are consistent. The first step is picking your choice of application. You can buy Regain in liquid or foam and then you can get the Kerflin's own Minoxidil for a lot cheaper in liquid and foam too. Uh, the foam tends to be a little bit more expensive, but I found it much easier to use and I found it dried out my skin a lot less. As I was using it twice a day, morning and night, and I would often be traveling, I would simply estimate the amount of Minoxidil I would use. As long as I didn't feel like I was using too much and making sure the product hits all the areas I needed to hit, I feel like that's fine. Some people say to use a dropper and I imagine it makes life easier if you are filling in patches. But for me, I hardly ever measure the amounts. So this is how I use it. So if you're gonna be using Regain or Minoxidil from a can using the foam, just spray a little bit into your palms. It's gonna go down into a liquid form once you rub your hands together like this. Uh, and then you wanna just be rubbing it into your face really nicely, getting it in deep. Uh, and just making sure yeah, it covers every bit where you want a beard to grow. If you're going to be using a liquid form of minoxidil, you can use the applicator, pour that in your hands, it's always one mil, or you can kind of guesstimate it, which is what I would do because I would always lose the applicators. Rub it well in your hands, same method, or if you already have a beard and you just want to fill in the gaps, you just kind of spread it onto your face using the applicator. And this is what my beard looks like after about a year's worth of using Minoxidil, but I haven't used it for a while. This is honestly such a simple way to grow a beard, but just remember to check that the product is suitable for you, as some users of Minoxidil in general can get side effects like high blood pressure or headaches. Just remember you have to be consistent morning and night for at least a year or the results will not come. Also take note that this will only make hair grow out of follicles you currently have. It's not gonna create new follicles for you. And if you have any bad side effects, please stop using it or go to the doctor and see what the problem is. But hopefully this will help a lot of people out there. So thank you so much for coming to this video. Just a short grooming tip on how I grew a beard. If you enjoyed it, and if you wanna see anything else that's lifestyle driven, please hit the subscribe button, like, Leave a comment below and let me know how you get on.